Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be uh, Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and uh, Aquarius Rising weekly tarot reading June 17th to uh, June 23rd, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump straight away into spread. All right, so the first card, which represents the topic for um, Aquarius week, that will be uh, the Queen of Swords, followed by the second one, which stands for the challenges that Aquarius needs to face throughout the week, that will be uh, the Eight of Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have uh, the positive aspect of the week, that will be the Tree of Pentacles. And the last one, is going to be the guidance the tarot is offering to you. This will be the six of uh, wands. All right, so once again, um, the queen of swords, it is the topic, followed by the eight of pentacles, which is the challenge that you need to overcome, followed by the next one, <clears throat> which is the three of pentacles, that is going to be the positive aspect and then the last one that we have for you guys that will be the six of wands which is the guidance okay so um this week uh it, it seems that you're gonna uh, have a that benevolent uh, support or a benevolent help from somebody uh which how can i describe it um you you will have to fit into not fit but follow a a certain criteria that this person is going to um to give you uh that is uh well i don't want to sound a bit rude here but that is because um in this field which things aren't working out either career-wise or either relationship-wise you are doing something wrong and this week that person queen of wands steps in and tells you exactly what you're doing wrong and how you should do it or rather like how this time around you can do it correctly now the the problem is that the fashion that the queen of wands the queen of swords is going to approach you ain't a milder fashion i mean it's going to be a critic it's not going to be something that you're going to be pleased to hear all right that queen comes around and completely bursts your bubble for example you know you have problems in your marriage you share your problems uh, with a friend of yours and that friend of yours completely bursts your bubble telling you that probably it is your fault you know or that you're doing something wrong in regards to the marriage and etc etc that is due to the fact that this woman here most likely a woman it could be a male it is quite emancipating and it is quite assertive it's it's very well that person very well knows you know how that game you are playing should be played you know and what kind of criteria one needs to um, 
fulfilled so one can be simply successful that is a person who knows how to push things how to push in general you know things through and this time around is going to help you to push your things through but you need to listen regardless of how difficult it's going to be because uh, it all comes to that Aquarius to recognize that you are a person you do mistakes and this person here the queen of swords comes around to point you your mistakes and to tell you how you can fix them the accompanied card here this is going to be uh, the uh, empress formation it is a uh, active enemies and definitely is going to be quite uncomfortable definitely is going to be a mind blowing what that person is going to tell you and you ain't going to like it at all i mean at, at the start <clears throat> the more sensitive one of you uh, Aquarius is, may feel even insulted when that person divulge you know what they think in regards to uh, your situation or in regards to your marriage for example you know your marriage isn't going on very well let's say and you visit a couple's therapist and the couple therapist tells you what where the problem is and what you should do to fix the problem you and your wife or in your husband and you say what <laughs> you know that cannot be but it can and it is okay so uh the challenge itself here uh it's the eight of pentacles and the eight of pentacles as a challenge sits exactly to do what it is needed okay so it's like going through ups and downs going through fire and water acknowledging these uh details that you have overlooked which that person queen of swords is divulging um divulging to you and uh simply doing what is necessary even though unpleasant because it's not going to be pleasant at least not at the start for example you are a workaholic all right you spend a lot of time at work because you like doing it because you love your job but you want to have a peaceful and steady marriage you know you want to be happy into your marriage but your marriage is rather sour all right it's it, it's not what you have expected so you go to the couple to the couple's therapist and the couple's therapist tells you well you work a lot you know and you have to take it easy on there you need to spend more time with your family and you see what well i love my job i want to go there so you probably you will completely neglect uh, or, you know, the first instinct here is to completely neglect what this couple therapist tells you. But the that will be the challenge. What I'm trying to say is to find the middle ground in between your job and your relationship. That is just, for example, to find that middle ground, to experiment with it and to make it work. The accompanied card here is going to be the full uh, the formation. It is a passive enemies that we have and... Uh, well, basically what the four points is to completely neglect what the Queen of Swords tells you. This professional person that knows how you can overcome and tackle with your problems. Because the four here points seeking on different solutions, seeking on different opinion from what the Queen of Swords tells you. Instead of doing what she tells you to do the right thing to do here with uh, the Eight of Pentacles. Because... <clears throat> Everyone has a situation where the things are sour, all right, where the things aren't working out. And uh, for every single different Aquarius, that person is going to manifest exactly in the field where they, they lack fulfillment, they lack, um, how can I, uh, success, all right? <clears throat> and instead of searching the easy way around or another way around you have to acknowledge what the professional has to say about it um and then we go to the positive aspect of the week and this is going to be the tree of pentacles so actually this critic that this person uh queen of swords is gonna direct to you is gonna be quite constructive one that is on the plus side that is and uh with her you can have these very meaningful conversations and should you um swallow down the uh initial 
insult that you're because you're gonna take it as an insult it's not gonna be an insult but you're gonna take it as an insult should you swallow that then we do have a, a very productive cooperation here with the three of pentacles so in your situation Aquarius three of pentacles is very conditional card and you first need to overcome the challenge so the three of pentacles can take place should you overcome the challenge meaning do what is necessary or what how you what you have been told that you have to do in order to uh, proceed and develop further either your career your marriage friendship you name it you know then you are going to face and a tremendous support from the people around you you know from this person here queen of swords as well and throughout that cooperation it is very likely that your thing is going to become true or rather like is going to succeed the accompanied card here that will be the page of uh, wands formation it is a, a passive neutrals that we have <clears throat> So you will quickly realize, you know, uh, and that is on the positive side, all right? You are going to quickly realize that it is much better when you actually have someone to support you and someone to uh, open your eyes for, this, for the subtleties in there, for the minor, for the minor details and to prevent um, some wrong actions that you may take in regards to either your career or in regards either to your marriage. So it really looks like a consultant, business consultant, couples therapist. It could be as well a doctor, all right? You may not feel very well recently and you may go to have a doctor check on you and the doctor tells you, I don't know, you're working way too much, your diet isn't healthy and so on and so forth. They're not going to say it in a milder fashion and you're going to say, what? What are you talking about? You know, or, but, you know, you may be insulted as well, but should you follow their advice, uh, it seems that things are going to uh, <clears throat> be set back in order quite, quite rapidly afterwards. And the accompanying card here, that is going to be the Six of Wands. And Six of Wands has a very rare meaning here in this follow-up. And it simply tells you take the help, right? Because the Six of Wands, it is also about a help coming in. Now, uh, if you can see that guy could be taken as a leader or it could be taken as well as a liberator, all right? So city under siege or city being in the, under slavery, this guy here who is a, um, I don't know, you know, uh, an army leader conquers the city liberates the people 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 salutes him so yeah that is one of the rare meaning of the of the six of wands a so much needed help comes around and there is no need for you to turn off that help even if the help is a little bit bruising at the start the accompanied card here this is going to be the hangman so it's it's the end of stagnation basically should you take the help that will be the end of your stagnation and setback in regards to this undertaking which you are lacking progress at. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading for June uh, 17th, June 23rd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.